groß ist. After spending the night at Ellen Beach, we headed back down to Cooktown. At Cooktown, we had a quick look at Quarantine Bay and then went in to have a look at Keating's Lagoon. There were signs around saying that crocs had been sighted in that day, so we weren't too keen to do the entire walk, but we had a quick look and there was so much information and it was really beautiful. The Mulbergie Keating's Lagoon is a conservation park which is a wetland oasis which in a drying landscape. It's a special place for the Gundjeri Aboriginal people who've used this area for thousands of years, collecting a variety of animals and plants for food, medicines and raw materials. <coughs> After leaving, we headed back past Black Mountain, which is Kalkaji National Park. This is a special place which is made of massive granite boulders which marks the northern end of the wet tropics World Heritage Area. Black Mountain is known for its culture, unique animals and many mysteries within the National Park. We ended up staying at the Lion's Den Hotel a total of three nights during our trip, once on the way up and twice on the way back. We really loved this place and it even has a little museum full of its own history, culture and lots of information, which is definitely worth checking out.
second left dirt. So it's a little bit sad, but we'll be back again, that's for sure. Yeah. So. We stayed at the Lion's Den for a, the, a third night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last night, and now we're heading back through the Daintree and we're going to stay the night here. Yeah, we hit the beers pretty hard. We have another fellow of a trophy, so we're up to 2 30 in the morning. That's a national park down there. Yeah, no, it's good fun. So. Gonna have a bit of an explore, chill afternoon, and go on a crop tour tomorrow. Yeah, fine, we haven't seen one. No, and then I'll go back to Cairns. Mm. Slowly heading our way back home. But yeah. It's gotta be dried and all that stuff. Oh, I guess it is pretty high. Like when you're standing, like it's, it looks lower. It? Sort of almost smells like tea, but maybe I'm just thinking it smells like tea because it's a tea yeah. plant. Mm -hmm. It just smells like plant. Mm. There's so much to explore along the Cape Tribulation Road. We stopped in at Daintree Tea Co and had a look at the tea plantations as we bought some on the way up. We then headed to the Daintree Ice Cream Company. Um, to enjoy some ice cream. I didn't film any of it, but I was absolutely obsessed and it's a definitely a must-do. We then headed to Daintree Village where we stayed the night in preparation for our crop tour the next morning. It was so beautiful there and I highly recommend going into Daintree for a visit.
He's there. There he is. There he is. This is a mature female. About two and a half meters long. Okay. But yeah. That's it.